Hey everyone, this is Lil Smith from BeautyBlondie.com and today I'm here to show you how to do a sock bun. There are a few things that you are going to need and you are going to need an old sock. Um, you are going to need a hair tie and a few bobby pins. Oh, and some scissors. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sock and you're going to cut the tip of the sock off. No fancy way of doing it, just make sure that it's all nice and cut off. Um, the shorter the sock, the smaller the bun. The longer and bigger the sock, the bigger, thicker bun you'll have. So, you're just going to go ahead, you're going to take this, and you're just going to kind of roll it. You can kind of see here, it's just like a big hair tie, almost like a little... Old, like one of those old uh, scrunchies. That's what it kind of looks like. So, first thing you're going to do then after that is take your hair tie and you're actually going to put wherever you want your bun to be, you're going to put your hair in a ponytail. So, I'm going to kind of do mine right up here. So, I'm going to put my ponytail right at the top of my head there. Once you have your ponytail exactly where you want it, um, like I said, I like mine to be right on the top here, so it gives it a nice full bun. You're going to go ahead then and take your little sack scrunchy thing, and you're going to put pull your hair all the way up to the top, if you can see, like this. You're going to put then your sack right over your hair so that you're kind of just in between there. And then you start to pull your hair and you just wrap it around the sack and you're just going to keep folding the sack under. All right. So, as you can see there, just kind of a messy, loose bun. Then I have my bobby pins, just in case you need to secure a couple pieces, just to kind of make it nice and tight. So I'll just go ahead and kind of add those in super easy. Now, when I'm adding in a bobby pin, I like to separate it with my fingers already and kind of pinch it here so you can see that. And then just go ahead and find where I want to put it in, let go, and then push it all the way in. It's a nice little trick to kind of get the bobby pin nice and secure. Okay. Once you have it where you want it, you can go ahead and mess it up a little bit more if you want. If you want it a little bit bigger, a little bit fuller, however you kind of want your uh, bun to sit on your head, you can go ahead and do that. But this is pretty much the gist of it, and you can kind of see, um, I kind of like mine a little bit messier, not too perfect, especially with the curly hair, just kind of gets all over, but you can do it anywhere. And it, this is just a very easy way for you to be able to do it, and I hope that you'll be able to achieve this as well. Uh, especially everyone who's been asking for sack bun tutorials. I really hope that this is easy enough and self-explanatory that you guys will be able to achieve this. Please let me know how it goes by leaving a comment in the comment box below. Again, if you like it, please like it and share it. I truly appreciate it, and I would love to... Uh, see you guys each day, so please don't forget to subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss a thing. Again, I'm Elizabeth at BeautyBlondie.com. Thanks for watching.